it's Coach Kamal here, head coach of MJKO Boxing, a youth-based charity in South Parkdale. I have my sidekick with me here, Evander, and I just want to invite you to join us in our journey to learn, take six classes and learn a little bit about boxing. I'm so excited to share this amazing opportunity uh, in partnership with Shape Your Life as we bring to you six classes to introduce you to the sport of boxing. Today with me, I have eight-time national champion Ibrahim Firearm Kamal. He's going to be joining us as one of our students today. Uh, Ibrahim is not only an eight-time national champion, but he is a level five certified NCCP coach, and he has traveled in 2018 to Rotec, India to be certified as an IEBA one-star coach along with him. So just uh, Ibrahim will be working today in the orthodox stance, even though as a fighter, he's a southpaw. But to give you a little bit of variety, we will also have Brampton Cup 2019 Jim 70 kg novice champion Katula He will be in the South Pass stance today, so we'll be giving you two options, both righty and lefty. And for our coach today, we have past amateur athlete and level two certified coach Jimmy Zhang, who will be leading us through six classes brought to you to give you a nice introduction to boxing at home. You don't need any equipment, just a positive attitude. And it's a great opportunity for you to get involved in the sport of boxing and stay active. So we want to wish you the very best of luck as you learn boxing with us. Welcome everyone to MJK and Shaper Life's introductory beginner boxing series. All right, in this series, we're gonna learn how to box, all right? Now this is a home uh, boxing series. So that means you don't need any equipment at all besides yourself and maybe a mat and some water. Hi guys, what's up? Uh, I'm Ibrahim Kamal. Here's uh, Katula Muzungwana. We're going to show you guys how to put on hand wraps. So, why do we put on hand wraps for boxing? Well, first off, to protect your hands. Um, these are the tools of your trade and all the impact that you're doing, it's going to affect your hands. So you got to protect your hands to have longevity in your, in your sport, in your career. And um, whether you're doing it recreationally or competitively, you need to take care of your hands. So when you get the hand wrap, it's gonna come out rolled like this. The first and easiest step is un unbuckle the Velcro and whoop, let it drop. Okay, so we're gonna pull it all the way, we're gonna go to the opposite end. You're gonna find a little thumb loop. So as you see here, and as I said, thumb loop, we're gonna put it in our thumb like so. Okay, now we're gonna go wrap around our wrist four times, going down low. So here is one, I'm gonna go lower, two, three, and four. All right, so and we're gonna do a fifth one as high up on the wrist. So we're gonna go up, here is five. Okay, from here, we're gonna go over to our knuckles. So we're gonna do the same thing, go four times over. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. All right, so as you can see here, we've got our wrist and we've got our knuckles wrapped and protected. So now we're gonna do something called X's. The reason why we do the X's is because when you throw your punches, your hands is gonna move. As you can see, it's still a bit loose. These X's are gonna to try to stabilize your hands from moving so much. So at the X, we're gonna go over like so, we're gonna go underneath the wrist, back over and on top. See how we made a little X? So we're gonna do that three more times, okay? So four in total, that's one. Here is number two, here is three, and finally four, okay? Now from here, we're just gonna go around our thumb, just from the back, like so. Great, and then we're gonna finish off the wrap down our wrist. So we're gonna finish off right here. And there you go, perfect. So as I said, um, we did everything four times down, um, down the wrist, the fifth one as high, four times around your knuckles and four X's and we did one loop around the thumb and finished off on our wrist. Now not all hand wraps are created equally. Some are a lot longer, some are a lot shorter. So you're gonna have to gauge yourself whether um, you're gonna go around your wrist three times four times, or if it's a very long hand wrap, and, or if you have small hands, you might have to go five or six times. All right, so 
We know that um, our, all these are classes done at home, so you might not have access to hand wraps. We just thought we would um, show you guys a brief um, tutorial on how to put them on. If you're interested in purchasing hand wraps, well, we, sell, we do sell them here at MJKO for $10. All proceeds go towards um, the charity and um, keeping kids off the streets and um, living a healthy, active lifestyle. Thank you very much. Welcome everyone to our first class of our beginner boxing series. So for our first class, we'll learn our basic boxing stance, punches and defense, and of course we're going to have some fun. So I'm Coach Jimmy, I have my athletes here, Katula and 8 time national champion Ibrahim Fire Amkramal. Keep in mind that this is a beginner boxing class and we recognize that not everyone has had prior boxing experience, so it, it might be a little bit strenuous for some, but you know, just try your best. Go at your own pace. And remember, I want you to do it correctly before we pick up the pace, all right? And remember to take lots of rests while you need it, okay? All right, so this is supposed to be a home workout series. So for everyone at home, uh, it's gonna be minimal to no equipment, all right? So all the equipment you see here is just for demonstration purposes, all right? So we invite you to try every exercise, but if you're not comfortable with a certain exercise, you can skip it. And remember to try your best. We're gonna get started with a nice and easy warm-up, all right? So they're not gonna use the lines if they don't want to. The warm-up, purpose of the warm-up is just to get their internal temperature up, the body warmed up to reduce the risk of injury, and to also learn some fundamental movement patterns, as well as some sport-specific movement patterns. So now we're gonna get into a nice and easy warm-up. Uh, each athlete will do each warm-up exercise for about 15 seconds or 15 reps, all right? So we're gonna start off nice and easy, jumping jacks for 15. Right? Jumping jack is a simple but effective exercise. It does raise your heart rate, all right? Open up your legs and arms at the same time, right? Some people make the mistake of doing the opposite where they have their arms open and then they go like this, all right? So main thing, open your arms and legs at the same time. One, two, three, count me four. Good, all right. All right, next one, we're getting to knees up, just running on the spot. This one's gonna be a little bit high tempo again. So remember, go at your own pace. Katula will demonstrate a lower pace for any beginners, and then Ibrahim will demonstrate a higher tempo knees up running on the spot for you know anyone who feels a little bit more comfortable. For 15 seconds, three, two, one, time's in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good, good job. All right, next one we're gonna do, butt kicks running on the spot for 15 seconds. All right, so it's the exact same thing. Kutu will demonstrate a lower, slower pace, and Ibrahim will demonstrate a higher tempo for anyone who's feel comfortable, all right? So butt kicks, you're just gonna bring your heels to your butt, same thing, all right? Running on the spot, three, two, one, time's in. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect, good job. Alrighty. Next, we're just gonna do a little bit nice and easy bunny hops left and right. Alright, so bunny hops, you're just gonna keep all the weight on your toes. That doesn't mean you're gonna keep your heels up. Alright, that just means most of the weight's gonna be on your toes. We're gonna go left and right over the line. All right, for, we'll do it for 10 seconds for this one, okay? Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, all right, now, very quickly, we're gonna transition to forward and backward uh, bunny hops over the line. So, forward and back, just like that, all right? On your toes, nice and easy. Remember to go at your own pace and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, all right. So as you can see, the athletes are starting to get warmed up just a little bit. We want to raise our internal body temperature, all right, get our blood flowing, all right, just to reduce injury. Now, next, they're gonna step back just a little bit and then they're gonna get into some leg swings. All right, so leg swings, main thing you wanna Step back and step one step into it to swing your leg, opposite arm to opposite 
uh, leg, all right? For 10, and go. One. Good. Two. Alternating each time, nice. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job, okay. Now, they're gonna get in they're gonna step back just a little bit, and now they're gonna get into some uh, knees up and open up those hips, okay? So they're gonna do 10, they're gonna alternate each time, five each leg total, okay? Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. All right, perfect, all right. Now, you're gonna get into a nice wide athletic stance, wider than shoulder width, and they're gonna do some trunk twist. All right, for 10 seconds, nice and easy, at your own pace, and go. One, two, three, four, good, five. Notice that their legs six, stay still, seven, all in the trunk. Eight, nine, Ten. Good. Now all they're gonna do, they're gonna hinge at the hips and they're gonna do the same thing, trunk twist, touching your toes for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, good. All right, next, they're just gonna give me five nice and easy squats. So squats, I want everyone to be feet at least shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed out. All right, and when you squat down, think about sitting in a chair, keep your back straight, all right? So that's nice and easy, five at your own pace. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. All right. Now they're gonna do some side bends. All right. So side bends will work a little bit, stretch a little bit of the lat, and also work some of their oblique muscles at the same time. Okay. So they're just gonna do ten side bends. All right. They're not gonna bend over too much. Bring that arm over each time. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. One. Just like that. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, so now at this point that they've done a little bit of high tempo warm up just to get their heart pumping, their blood flowing, the body warm. All right, now we're gonna do some dynamic stretching. All right, so dynamic stretching is basically where we're stretching the muscles in a way that we're always moving, all right? So we don't wanna be static stretching where it's just a stretch and hold, all right? That is not conducive to athletic performance, all right? So, dynamic stretching, we're gonna start with our neck. We're just gonna look left in one direction, dip your chin down nice and easy, nice and slow, and look the other way. 10 seconds back and forth at your own pace. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Next, we're gonna do arms to go forward, nice and big, for ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now back. Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're gonna do arms alternating up and down and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now they're gonna do some self hugs and go for ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Good. All right, now they're gonna just spread their feet nice and wide. They're gonna reach forward, middle, and then back, keeping the legs straight, kind of pulsing the stretch in their legs each time, okay? This one for 10 seconds, so give a count of 10, just like this, one, two. Ready, three, two, one, and go. One, two. That's it. They're just hinging at the hips. Three. Keeping their legs straight. Four. This is a dynamic stretch. Five. You should feel it in their legs. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. All right, and time. So that is a nice and easy warm up. Now we're gonna get into our boxing. So now that we're warmed up, we're gonna learn our basic boxing fundamentals. So that means we're gonna learn our stance, our punches, and our basic defense. All right, so our athletes will demonstrate, Katula will demonstrate in southpaw stance, and Ibrahim will demonstrate in the orthodox stance. So what does that mean, all right, for anyone who doesn't know boxing? Southpaw means essentially a, left, a lefty, and orthodox means a righty, all right? First things first, we're gonna learn our stance. They're gonna stand just normally, feet shoulder width apart, one foot on either side of the line at home. You're not gonna have the line, but just envision a line at home, all right? So if you're right-handed, you're gonna drop your right leg back. If you're left-handed, you're gonna drop your left leg back, all right? Have a slight bend in your knees, all right? Good. Now, when we make a fist, all right, hands are up. They're gonna curl their fingers inward, thumbs on the outside, all right, hands up, chin level. Good, elbows in, protecting their body, all right? And I want their chin slightly tucked in, okay? You can see now my boxers are in their stance, their hands are up, knees are slightly bent, all right? Their toes are slightly pointed towards their dominant side, all right? So Ibrahim, orthodox, ready, his toes are slightly pointed to the right. Kachula, lefty, his toes are slightly pointed towards the left. All right, so main thing to remember in boxing, the general rule is whatever hand is your dominant hand will be at the back. That'll be your power punching side. All right, of course there are exceptions to the rule, but we'll just stick to the basics. So now we're gonna learn our basic boxing punches. All right, they're gonna demonstrate the one coming forward. All right, also known as the jab. It's a straight punch from the front hand. You'll lose your front hand, same side as your front leg. All right, so very slowly, you're gonna demonstrate the one the same time, they're gonna take a step with it. All right, so one, go ahead. Now my boxer will demonstrate the two. The two, also known as the rear straight. It's also a straight punch. This is a stationary punch. All right, main thing they wanna focus on, punching straight in front, and also they're gonna turn their hips with it just a little bit, pivoting their back foot, turning their hips. All right, just like that. All right, they're gonna demonstrate it twice. It's an easy two, go ahead. Good, and now they're always bringing their hands right back to their chin. Good, and always remaining in their stance. Two, again. Good. Some key points to remember. Always keep your hands up and punching eye level. And when you're punching for the two, rotating for the shot, I want you to think toe, knee, hip, and then arm for the full triple extension, okay? So again, one more time, two. And then they're gonna bring it back. Perfect, good. The number three they're gonna demonstrate is their lead hook. All right, so remember, lead hook, same side as your lead leg. All right, hook is a looping punch. You can think about it as a punch coming in from the side. All right, they're just gonna slightly drop their hand and then loop around for the hook. All right, so number three, they're just gonna demonstrate. Go ahead. Good, all right, one more time and then they're just gonna leave it out there. Go, three. Good, so as you can see, my boxers, this is a three. I want your elbow just about as high as your fist, and you can notice their hips are turned with their shot, that's how they generate the power. So remember, toe, knee, hip, and arm, okay? And then bring it back, good. Four, exact same thing, we're just gonna rotate our back leg, back hip with it, toe, knee, hip, arm, turn their hips with it, all right? So exactly four, go. That's it, good. 
Now, the second time, they're gonna leave it out there. Four, go. Good. So, exactly, Pitu left that out there. So as you can see, his four, his elbow is about as high as his fist. He's aiming about head level, all right? And his shoulder is up, just in case when he's punching, right? When you're punching, you want your shoulder up. So defend against any punch that may hit him. So now they're gonna demonstrate the uppercuts. The last two punches, we call it the five and six. All right, so five will be our front uppercut. Remember, uppercut, same side. Sorry, lead uppercut, same side as your lead leg, okay? So they're slightly gonna drop their hand and then come straight up the middle with their uppercut, okay? So five, go, good. This is the lead uppercut. So as you can see, if there is an opponent in front of them in their stance, they're punching right up the middle between the guard and hitting their chin, all right? And then they're just gonna bring it back to their stance. Good. So now the last punch, the six, as you can guess, it is our rear uppercut. Okay, so rear uppercut, they're gonna rotate the hips with it, all right? Drop their hand and come right up the middle, all right? So six, go. Good. All right, one more time. Six, go. Good. So now that we know our, all our punches, the reason why we enumerate all our punches, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? English is not everybody's first language, but for people that do know some basic English, they know their uh, numbers, all right? So one, two, three, four, five, six is a good way for everyone to remember. So one more time, they're gonna demonstrate very slowly, one, two, three, four, five, six, all in sequence. All right, remember to take a step forward with their jab. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna learn the basic defense, all right? So we're gonna start off with the basic defense to the one and two. So the one and two are straight punches, all right? So I'm gonna get my athletes to demonstrate the defense in the one, two, we call it the slip, slip. Main thing you wanna think about, taking your head off the center line, left or right. So as you can see, we have some lines underneath to visual, help you guys visualize at home. All right, they're just gonna take their head off the center line, all right? So slip, slip, ready, and go. Slip, slip. Good, that's it. Always keeping their hands up, always returning to the stance. One more time, slip, slip. Slip, slip. Good, all right. So you'll notice, for beginners, that's just the main thing you wanna think about, taking your head off the center line, slip, slip. But as you can see, with a little bit more advanced athlete, you're gonna break it down, they're actually bending their knees with it ever so slightly, okay? Exactly, look at his knees, and then he's bending his knees with it, okay? Good, so some main things that you don't wanna do, okay? Some people, you, will, you want to avoid this, always keep your hands locked to your chin when you slip, slip. All right, some people, they move their head, but not their hands. All right, remember, your hands protect your chin. So always keep your hands on your chin. Okay, now they're gonna demonstrate the defense to the three and the four. All right, so the three and four are hooks. All right, they're looping punches coming in from the side. So, for three and four, all they're gonna do, going under and under. So, they're gonna initiate the movement with their knees bending under and under. Kutula will demonstrate a very beginner under under where he's just gonna stay where he is, no foot movement. Ibrahim will demonstrate a little bit more advanced where he takes a step left and right. All right, so under, under, go ahead. Good. Under, under. When they go under, under, for beginners, just stick to a stationary under, under. Get that movement, all right? Think of your head going in a U pattern, all right? So just move your head just like that, okay? Once you feel confident, you can move on to the under under with the movement. Taking a step in either direction, but always staying in their stance. Now, the last two defense, the five and six, all right? So, five and six are uppercuts, all right? So if someone is throwing an uppercut at you, you have two options. You can either lean back in your stance or step back in your stance, all right? So they're each gonna demonstrate both nice and slow. So first, they'll lean back in their stance. And go. Good. All right, so you see they're stationary. They're just hinging in the hips backwards and they're returning to their stance. Nice and balanced. Second option, they can 
step back, right? And always stay in your stance. Good. So now my athletes are in your stance, facing each other. They're approximately six feet apart for social distancing. Now they're gonna demonstrate the basic defense that we just learned very quickly with uh, each other, okay? So this is a partner drill, non-contact, all right? We are uh, demonstration purposes only. I know some people might have anxiety about you know getting hit, but just keep in mind this is just for demonstration purposes. You know I don't want anyone hitting one at home. Okay, so first they're gonna Ibrahim is going to throw the one two towards Katula. Katula is gonna do the slip slip, and then once they've done that, Katula will throw the one two towards Ibrahim, and then Ibrahim will slip slip. All right, go ahead. One. Two. One, two. Good. Now they're gonna throw the three and four at each other. Okay, starting with Ibrahim and then two we respond with the under, under, and then vice versa. Alright? Go ahead. Three. Four. Three. Four. Good. Okay, so now they're gonna demonstrate the defense in the last two punches. Ibrahim will throw the five and six at Katula. Katula will just lean back with his hands up for defense. And then Katula will throw a five, six at Ibrahim. Ibrahim will demonstrate both the lean back and the step back. Go. Five, six. Five, six. Good. All right. So, my answer is relax. So, as you can see, that is a really exaggerated example of how to do partner defense. All right, we're giving you guys just an idea of how the punches looks like with, with the defense. Um, if a lot of you are like myself, I'm a visual learner, and for me to understand and grasp the concepts, I kind of have, have to see them, how they work. So now that you guys learned the punches and the defense, I know some of you guys are going through, through your mind, how does this actually look like in real life? Well, the demonstration that me and Katula just showed you kind of answers that question. So, um, we, if you have, like uh, Jimmy mentioned, if you have any anxiety about uh, partner drills or anything, scrap that. We're, uh, we're not going to do this. is just um, individual workout plans. But just for you guys to have an idea and see what um, the defense versus offense looks like, that was uh, our demonstration. Uh, the reason why MJKO and Shape Your Life teaches all the punches and the defense all at one time instead of the old school boxing way, which is they only teach you the one, two, for like three months for example. So the reason why we teach all at once is because it gives a kids a chance to get a feel for every punch and instead of getting bored with just the classic one two. As Jimmy said, um, you only can throw the one twos for so long and at the end of the day this is um, for the most part recreational so it's an like introduction to boxing and um, the more that you know of all the aspects of, of the punches and the techniques and movements the more fun you're gonna have. Okay, so now uh, that my athletes are warmed up and they've learned all the basic boxing fundamentals, they're gonna get into shadow boxing, all right? So, shadow boxing is a sport specific uh, exercise, all right? It might look a little bit awkward to some people, but I want you to think about it uh, just like any other sport, right? Like you ever see a basketball player shooting an imaginary basketball, same thing, they're going through the motions, working the muscle memory, getting, priming their movements for their boxing, all right? So, first round of shadow boxing, they're gonna do the one and two, all right? So they're in their stance, all right? They're gonna step with the one, right, with their lead leg, and then they're gonna throw the two, remember Tony, hip arm, rotate for the two, okay? And then bring it back, and then they're gonna take a step back to reset, okay? So, nice and easy. Two minute round. Okay, ready? One, two, times in, three, two, one, go. Good. That's it, nice and relaxed at your own pace. Good, always stay in your stance. Remember that imaginary line in between your legs. Good. Good, keep your elbows in, knees slightly bent. Good, nice and relaxed. Always on your toes. All right, that means the majority of the weight in your toes. You got it. Good job. Keep it up. Good. Remember to keep that chin down and breathe. Stay nice and relaxed. Don't tense your muscles. If you're tense, you're gonna get tired very easily. Okay. 
Okay, so one, two, as you can see, I want them to fully extend their punch all the way, all right? Punching eye level, and when he's punching, right, I'll, he wants his shoulder up to protect from any incoming punches. And remember to go at your own pace. Now guys, this shot of boxing may seem repetitive, but this is a big and an important part of boxing training. I've been training, I mean, I've been fighting for 18 years, and every single day I have done shadow boxing. Now, this is uh, the first class of our six part series. Um, today is gonna be very, very simple, very basic, but as the classes go on, we're gonna be adding more combinations, more um, different technical aspects, including defense mixed with the offense, so stay, stay tuned and take today very easy. Get the basics, get your stance, and I'm gonna pick up the pace in the following classes. Time. Okay, now we're moving on to our second round of shadow boxing. But before we move on, I wanna talk about our footwork. So as you, can, as you notice in the first round when they threw their one, two, they're just going forward, all right? Right, and then they're resetting back, okay? So, always seeing your stance. One thing to remember when you're moving forward, start with your lead leg, all right? So lead leg is different for everyone, depending on your stance, all right? So lead leg first, and if you're going back, back leg first, all right? Always seeing your stance, keep that line in between your legs, never crossing, all right? And never switching out of your stance, okay? Now, round two, you're just gonna practice one, one, two. All right, so one, one, two, they're gonna take two steps, since it's one, one, and then two, stationary, they're just gonna rotate, tone knee, hip, arm. And then they're gonna shuffle back twice and do it again. Exactly, just like that, and go. Good. Always keeping their hands up. Good job, tone knee, hip, arm for that too. Punching eye level, hands are up. Good work, keep it up. Remember to go at your own pace, all right? I want to do it nice, slow, and controlled, but do it correct before you pick up any speed, all right? And now remember guys, this is a two minute round. So if you wanna add the intensity, pick up the intensity. If you wanna go fast for 30 seconds, and then slow for 30 seconds, feel free to go ahead and do so. Good. So, as you can see, they're moving up and back on the skipper rope. The skipper rope is just to help you guys at home visualize that you should keep a little bit of distance in between your stance. Good. Always keeping their hands up. Good job, Tony hip arm for that too. Punching eye level, hands are up. Good work, keep it up. Remember to go at your own pace, all right? I want you to do it nice, slow, and controlled, but do it correct before you pick up any speed, all right? And now remember guys, this is a two minute round. So if you wanna add the intensity, pick up the intensity. If you wanna go fast for 30 seconds, and then slow for 30 seconds, feel free to go ahead and do so. Good. So, as you can see, they're moving up and back on the skipper rope. The skipper rope is just to help you guys at home visualize that you should keep a little bit of distance in between your stance. Good. Always keeping their hands up. Time. Round three of shadow boxing coming up, all right? So this round, my athletes will demonstrate the one, two, slip, two. So they're gonna be in their stance. Remember to step forward with your one, all right, stationary for the two, just rotate Tony hip arm two, and then slip two. And then they're gonna reset one step back and then do it all over again at their own pace. All right? So, ready? Three, two, one, go. So some keys to remember, always keeping the hands up about chin level, all right? Punching eye level. Good, remember to stay nice and relaxed, breathing. And remember, slip to the side that was the last punch, all right? So, for example, 
the combination was one piece of two, his two was his last punch, he's gonna slip to that side and then come back with a two. All right, good. Always keeping the hands up about chin level. All right, punching eye level, good. Remember to stay nice and relaxed, breathing. Remember to step forward with your one. All right, stationary for the two. Just rotate Tony hip arm two, and then slip two. So some keys to remember, always keeping the hands up about chin level. All right. Punching eye level, good. Remember to stay nice and relaxed, breathing. Remember to step forward with your one. All right, stationary for the two. Just rotate Tony hip arm two, and then slip two. So some keys to remember, always keeping the hands up about chin level. All right. Punching eye level, good. Remember to stay nice and relaxed, breathing. Remember to step forward with your one. All right, stationary for the two. Just rotate Tony hip arm two, and then slip two. So some keys to remember, always keeping the hands up about chin level. All right. Punching eye level, good. Remember to stay nice and relaxed, breathing. Time. All right, so great first class everyone. Now we're gonna get into some cool down. All right, so as you can see today was an introduction class. Uh, it might be a little bit easier for some. It might be a little bit harder for some people. Remember, go your own pace. Do it correct before you pick it up, all right? So now for cool down, if you have a mat at home, please lay your mat out. If not, we're just gonna get ready on the ground. All right, guys, um, so now we're starting our cool down. Um, these exercises what we're doing, I've done them since uh, from my amateur career and on to my professional career and I've picked up a lot of these exercises um, from many different coaches, not only domestically but abroad in um, various training camps, uh, games and, uh, and competitions. So um, you guys are going to get a look into what I've been doing for 18 years as a competitive athlete. Alrighty, and remember to take your time and I invite you guys to try um, all the various exercises, whether you can go up to the count of, of 10, 15, um, 5, or 3. So um, hang in there and have some fun. Alright, our first um, exercise, we're going to just do a simple crunch. We're going to go to the count of 15. Again, um, go at your own pace. So we're going to have our feet up, um, locked, our hands behind our head. We're just going to touch our elbows to our knees. We're gonna go to the count of 15 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, our next exercise, we're gonna be doing um, leg raises. Again, go to the count of 15. If you can only manage to go to the count of 10, no problem, no worry. You, got, you have to have a starting point and you can progress always. All right, so we're just gonna have our feet together, hands underneath our tailbone. We're gonna go up and down. A modified version would be having one foot down, lifting the other foot, going to the count of 10, and then switching to the other foot. All righty, so we're gonna put our feet together, we're gonna lift them up and down to the count of 15, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Excellent job guys. Now our next exercise we're gonna go to scissors. So again go at your own pace. Two ways to do this. Modified version, you're gonna lift your leg all the way up one and then rotating um, alternating legs. Okay? So already we're gonna have our feet up straight. We're just gonna flutter like so. Ready and one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Whew. All right, our next exercise. We're gonna go opposite elbow, opposite knee. We're gonna be working on the obliques here. It'll help strengthen when we throw our punches as we rotate our hips. All right, 
So we're gonna have our right leg crossed over our left, left arm behind our head, and we're gonna go elbow to knee. Ready to the count of 15. One, two, three, four, five. Good. So you'll notice he's bringing his elbow towards his knee. He's not bringing his knee closer towards his elbow. Your elbow does not have to actually touch your knee, but just going that general cross direction. 14, 15. All right, we did one side. Now we're gonna do the other side. Again, this time our left leg on top of our right, our right arm behind our head. And we're gonna go elbow to knee. Ready, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So guys, now we're gonna go on to side crunch. So we're gonna we're gonna do um one side first, and then we're gonna do our other. Again, this is to work your obliques to help um when you're turning your punches in to generate more power. All right, so we're just gonna pick a side, we're gonna lay on the side. Like so, okay, get your hands up by your chin, you gotta keep it all the way up. And then we're just gonna lift, side crunch up. Ready? An easy way to uh, keep tabs is, you can try to touch your calf. Ready, we're gonna the count of 15. One, yeah, two. So as you'll notice, side crunch is working his obliques, uh, his lower body is relaxed on the ground, all the motion is in his trunk, all right? So he's using his obliques, his muscles, to pull himself up. Try to not use any momentum. Your neck might be a little bit tired at this point, so that's why you can use your hand to help support your head and your neck. 14, 15. All right, now on to our other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. At this point, you can see you might be getting a little bit tired, so you can do what Ibrahim is doing. You can swing your arm just a little bit, just to use a little bit of momentum. But the main thing, you always want to keep the tension in your obliques. Fourteen and fifteen. Our, our next exercise: we're gonna lie on our back, we're gonna put our feet straight up, and we're gonna try to touch our toes. So this one is a bit difficult too because one, I am not that flexible. So you'll see my knees pretty bent. I've got very tight hamstrings. I know I should be stretching and you guys should sort of do so as well. So all right, we're gonna go to count of 15. Get feet up in the air as straight as you can get them. We're just gonna touch our toes. Ready, and one. All two. right, so main thing, he's working his abs right here. You wanna keep your lower back flat to the ground. All right, your legs as straight as you can, but as you can see, if you're not flexible, you can have a nice bend in your legs. Try and touch your toes. You don't actually have to make contact with your toes, just that general direction. 14, 15. Our next exercise, we're gonna do bicycle. So we're gonna resemble the motion of riding a bike, like so. We're gonna have our feet in a cycling motion, but we're gonna add getting our elbow to our knees. Okay, so we're gonna cycle both with our upper body and lower body. Um, a quick modification, if you just wanna try it out, uh, uh, beginner level, beginning stages, just only focus on, uh, on the lower body, and your feet making the bicycle motion. All right, and then as you develop and do this more, you can add in upper body as well. To the count of 15. One, two, three. So you can see he's pumping out his legs. His legs are not touching the ground the whole time. He's keeping his lower back flat to the ground. And as you can see, his core is engaged. His upper back is off the ground the whole time. 30. 14, 15. All right guys, next we're gonna go on to twists. So we're gonna have our feet up, cross, and we're gonna to touch the ground side to side. Modif a modification, beginning stages, you can keep your feet on the ground, and then just touch, touch, touch. You can elevate one foot and alternate between the two and um, work your way up to having both feet off the ground. Ready, and one, two, three. All right, so for the twist, you can see his lower body remains generally stationary. His upper body is doing all the work, all right? So you're all twisting in your core and your trunk. 13, 14, 15. All right, guys, we're going on to, we're gonna do plank. 
for the count of 15. All right, so elbows down and ready, lifting up. One, two, three, four. All right, so you can see a plank is keeping him this nice, uh, his body in a nice straight line. All right, so you want to make sure your hips are not sagging up or sagging down. Your core is engaged all around. 14, 15. All right, now we're going to go on to a super plank, which is basically a plank, but you can extend your arms up into push up position. Ready, and one, two, four, five, six. So exact same motion as a regular plank. Your body is in a straight line, but it might be a little bit harder because it just puts a little bit of work on your shoulders, which helps strengthen our shoulders for boxing. 14, 15. Now we're gonna move on to opposite arm, opposite leg in the plank position, starting with our elbow down. So elbow down, and then we're gonna go up. Like so. Alright, so as you can see, opposite arm, opposite leg. This one is a great exercise for our lumbar spine. Just keeping his back straight. Opposite arm, opposite leg, holding it out with a static hold. 14, 15. Now, other side. Alright, so now he's doing his other side, working his entire back through both ways, all right? So our lumbar spine goes through a lot of stress when we're boxing, right? Boxing, we're twisting, so it requires a lot of core strength. Remember to always strengthen your lower back as well as your abs and obliques. 13, 14, 15. Now we're gonna go on to super plank again, opposite arm, opposite leg. Just like um, how we did the regular plank, down on our knee, down on our elbows, we're gonna go fully straight up. Whew, it's actually pretty hard and tight right now. All right, opposite arm, opposite leg. One, Ooh, hard, two, three, four. All right, so this one's just a little bit harder since he is a little bit more elevated and only two points touching on the ground. But main thing, working our lumbar spine, trying to keep your body straight. 11, 12, 13, almost 14, Whew, 15. Whew, that was pretty hard. All right, now we're gonna go to the opposite side. Again, guys, this is for uh, you guys who really wanna try the advanced, uh, advanced um, plank. It's pretty hard. Even me, after all of my years of boxing and training, it's still pretty hard to keep up for 15 seconds. One, two. All right, so you can see at this point, he has uh, done a lot of course stunts, so he's struggling a little bit. Main thing to remember, you always wanna keep your hips Pointing towards the ground, now you don't want hips turning too much. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whew! All right, now we're gonna go on to side plank. Alrighty, and one, two, three, four. Side plank, exact same thing as a regular plank. He's gonna keep his body in a nice straight plane. All right, engaging his obliques that keeps him straight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, now we're gonna go on to the other side of our plank, of our side plank, to the count of 15. One, two, three, four. So other side, exact same thing, make sure your core is engaged, you're, if you're on a mat, you can use your elbow. If you're on a floor, I'd suggest going in a hand, just so it's easier and you don't hurt your elbow. 13, 14, 15. All right, now we're gonna do super side plank or arm extended. And one, two, three, four. All right, so it's super side plank, the exact same thing as regular plank. Now we're just on our hands. It might be a little bit harder since we have to Go up a little bit more with the hips to keep our body straight. Just make sure your body's in one straight line. 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, now we're gonna be the other side of our super plank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job, guys.
Okay guys, so now we're going on to some uh, back exercises. We worked on our core on our front. Now we gotta work on um, our back muscles so that uh, we can avoid injury. If you have a stronger core and a weaker back, chances are um, you're gonna injure your back because the back is not as strong as the front and it's gonna overcompensate and lead to injury. So always whenever we work core or ab exercises, we're gonna do the same for the back. Just like when you're in the weight room and you're doing bicep curls, you have to do tricep extensions so they can even out. All right, so we're just gonna get on our tummy. And I invite you guys to lift up his arm, opposite leg. In my, my case, give me my left arm up, my right leg up. So we're gonna go up to the count of 15. Ready, and one, two, three, four. Yeah, so Six. remember, go opposite arm, opposite leg. So for beginners, Go nice and slow, just so you're doing it correct. You can see Ibrahim's going nice and fast because he is a little bit more advanced. 13, 14, 15. All right, so now I'm gonna go, now I'm gonna go to the opposite. So my right arm and my left leg. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, since we're down uh, on our tummies, we're gonna do um, both arms, both legs. We're gonna lift them up together, ready to the count of 15. Ready, and one, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is a great exercise, all right? It's a little bit easier than opposite arm, opposite leg. The main thing you wanna remember, always keep your hips on the ground, your arms and upper body, and your legs are rising off the ground together. 13, 14, 15. Alrighty, we're on to our last component of our cool down. We're going to be doing push ups. So I invite you guys, we're going to go to the count of 15. Go at your own pace, whatever, however you can get done. In my count, that's great. I'll just set it as a benchmark and we'll try to get better on um, our next training session. Alright, so we're going to go for 15 push ups. Ready? And one, two, three. So push ups is a great. Calisthenics exercise. Calisthenics means body weight exercise. So it's great for athletics and especially for boxing. So the main thing is he's keeping his body straight, pushing with his arms. If you're beginning, you can go on your knees, but you, would, you just want to keep your body straight if you're on your knees. And 15. Excellent. Good job, guys. That was a great workout today. Tune in for our next session and have a great night.